Good morning, dear students. I'm Abdukarim Veig. Today, we will learn about Unit 8, which is about facts about human body. I will start by some important keywords. The first one, excretory. Excretory means having the function of getting rid of waste materials from the body. Endocrine. Endocrine means relating to the system in your body that produces hormones. Secreted. Secreted means produced. Limbs. Limbs means an arm or leg. Limbs means an arm or leg. Leg. Wrinkled. Wrinkled means with small lines and folds. With small lines and folds. Elastic. Elastic means capable of stretching. Capable of stretching. Loose. Loose means to make less tight or to loosen. Or to loosen. Now, we have some body idioms which are very useful. The first one, pain in the neck. Pain in the neck means that something which annoying. So, pain in the neck means something which is annoying. Speak one's mind. Speak one's mind means to say exactly what one thinks. So, speaks one's mind means to say exactly what one thinks. The third one, costs you an arm and a leg. Costs you an arm and a leg. That means it's very costly. It's very costly. Jump out of his skin. Jump out of his skin means that you are shocked. Follow your heart. Follow your heart means to go after your deep feelings and instinct. Now, let's see them in, the, in these examples. Writing long essays on uninteresting topics is a pain in the neck. Look, a pain in the neck. Number two. She has very strong opinions and she's not afraid to speak her mind. To speak her mind. Number three, you must visit that restaurant. The food is really good, but it costs you an arm and a leg. The doorbell made him jump out of his skin. The doorbell made him jump out of his skin. The last one, you might make less money from the job, but if it really attracts you, you should follow your heart. You should follow your heart. Now, here are some other exam exams questions. Can you guess the right answer, please? The first one, his sudden outbursts have made him a real space and a socially unwanted. Can you guess, please, what is the right answer? Is it A or is it B or is it C or is it D? So... The right answer here, B. His sudden outbursts have made him a real pain in the neck and socially unwanted. The second one, buying a brand new car is going to space. Maybe we should ride bikes, 
Maybe we should ride bikes. Can you guess the right answer? Good students, it's B. So, buying a brand new car is going to cost an arm and a leg. Maybe we should ride bikes. Number three, my sister is very polite. She doesn't. What's the correct answer? Can you guess? Is it A or B or C or D? Think. So it's D. Speak her mind. That's right. Good. Number four. The best advice is to space, but keep your eyes open. Is it the right answer? Follow your heart or Number B, pain in the neck. Number C, jumped out of one's skin. Or number D, speak your mind. Think carefully. Easy. Yeah, it's number A. Follow your heart. The last one, our friend almost space when she learned her son and his wife were having a triplet. Is it followed her hurt or number B pain in the neck or number C jumped out of her skin or number D spoke her mind? Of course, jumped out of her skin. Now we will move to the pronunciation section. In this section, we will learn about syllable stress. Look, syllable stress is often determined by the prefixes and suffixes that have been added to the basic form of the word. In words with prefixes such as a, un, be, in, pro, x, op, this, etc. The, the stress is almost always on the second or third syllable, i.e. prefixes are not stressed in English words. Similarly, suffixes such as ness, able, us, etc. Now, underline the stressed syllable in this word. Loudness. Loudness. Ambitious. Ambitious. Dangerous. Dangerous. Sociable. Sociable. Reliable. Reliable. Comfortable. Comfortable. Irresponsible. Irresponsible, sensible, sensible, impossible, impossible, competitive, competitive, talkative, talkative, aggressive, aggressive, unfriendly, unfriendly, insecure and skewed. Now we will talk about wishes and how can we express wishes. Read the sentence and answer the questions with me please. Number one, I regret that I started smoking. I wish I had not started smoking. So, Repeat again, I regret that I started smoking. I wish I hadn't started smoking. In this sentence, did he start smoking? Yes, he did. 
Is he happy that he is a smoker? Of course, no, he isn't. Because he wishes he hadn't start smoking. Number two, I have a strong desire that our head teacher limit absent in our school. I wish our head teacher would limit absence in our schools. In this sentence, does the head teacher fight absence at the school? Of course, no, he doesn't. Is the speaker in favor of or against absence? Look, of course, the speaker is against absence. Number three, I can't watch the match tonight. I wish I could watch it. I can't watch the match tonight. I wish I could watch it. How does the speaker feel? He feels regret because he can't watch the match. What does he wish? He wishes he could watch the match. But he couldn't. Number four. I'm very tired today. I'm very tired today. I wish I weren't so tired. I wish I weren't so tired. Is the speaker tired? Absolutely yes. Yes, he is. What does he wish? He wishes he weren't tired. He wishes he weren't tired. Now, let's discuss the following. What are the tenses of the underlined verb in exercise 1 to 4? As you see, the first sentence, the verb in the past perfect. The verb in the past perfect tense here. Look at me. Whereas the sentences number two, three, and four, the verbs are in the past simple. In the past simple. This is because they expresses about a wish about the present or the future. Whereas a sentence number one, whereas a sentence number one expresses about a wish about the past. So, the main verb was in the past. The wish sentence was in the past perfect. In the past perfect. Look at. The main verb was in the past simple, it turns to past simple. In the past perfect, sorry. Be careful. And the positive turned to negative. The positive turned to negative. The second one, the main verb was present simple, it turns to past simple. Number three, moreover, it can't watch, present simple, it turned to past, past simple. The last one, look, I am, turned to, weren't, positive, turned to negative, am, weren't. Now, let's read the grammar again. We will talk about some examples. Complete the following sentence with correct
Before we begin, let's revise the following. Simple present turns to simple past. Positive turns to negative. And simple past turns to past perfect. Positive turns to negative. Negative turns to positive. Now, let's answer these sentences together. Our classroom doesn't have colored walls. I wish our classroom had colored walls. This is a correct answer. Had. Pay attention. Doesn't have turns to had. Number two. The sun is not shining right now. I wish the sun what, guess what, shining. We have isn't shining. It's a present a negative. It should turn into past simple and positive. So the right answer would was aware was aware number 3 i didn't go shopping last week i didn't go shopping last week i wish i space shopping guess the correct answer pay attention you have didn't go didn't go it's negative and past it should turn into positive and past perfect so the right answer had gone the right answer had gone number four i didn't know how to dance i wish i for space how to dance how to dance pay attention didn't know Past simple, negative, it should turn into positive and past perfect. So, the answer, new. I wish I knew how to dance. Number five, I can't go with you tomorrow. I can't go with you tomorrow, but I wish I space with you. The right answer, of course, could go. Now, let's read the grammar together. We use wish and if only. Wish or if only to talk about things that we would like to be a different either. In the present or the past. Look, if only is usually a bit stronger than wish. So, when you, when you use if only, it's a bit stronger than wish now wish in the present look i wish subject past simple i wish subject past simple we use i wish subject past simple to express a regret about present situation so i wish subject past simple to express a regret about a present situation. And B, where is often used to instead of was. Where is often used to instead of was. With I, he, she, and it. It's formal. It's a formal. Example, I wish I were rich. I wish I were rich or I wish I was rich. Wish in the past. Wish in the past. 
I wish subject plus past perfect. We use I wish subject past perfect to express about a regret about a past situation. A past situation. Michael didn't revise. Look. Michael didn't revise his lessons for the exam. Michael, I wish I had revised. I wish I had revised my lessons. Now, wish in the future. I wish subject plus would plus infinitive. We use I wish subject would infinitive to express annoyance, annoyance or a desire for a change in the near future. James is a heavy smoker. So his wife wants him to stop smoking. So I wish James would stop smoking. I wish James would stop smoking. Now Let's do the last exercise. What might you say in this situation? Begin with I wish or if only. In this situation, what would you say to someone who never answers your email? To someone who never answers your email? I wish you would answer my emails. I wish you'd answer my emails. Exercise number one. What might you say in this situation? To someone who makes fun. To someone who makes fun of people. In this sentence here, you are annoyed. You are annoyed. So, the right answer is, I wish, or if only, he wouldn't make fun of people. I wish, if only, he wouldn't make fun of people. Number two, to someone who can't help you. To someone who can't help you. Notice, in this sentence here, it's a regret about present situation. It's a regret about present situation. Someone who can't help you. So, the answer, I wish, if only, he could help me. I wish, or if only, he could help me. Number three, to someone who didn't do the laundry for you. To someone who didn't do. Pay attention. Be careful. Didn't do. It's in the past. It's negative. So, the correct answer, I wish, if only he had done. He had done the laundry for me. Number four. To someone who isn't telling you the truth. Again, here, it's you are annoyed. You are annoyed. So, I wish if only he would tell me the truth. I wish or if only he would tell me the truth. The last one, number five. To someone who blows cigarette smoke in your face. Someone who blows cigarette smoke in your face. Here, you are annoyed again. So... I wish, or if only, he wouldn't blow cigarette smoke in my face. Or, we can say, I wish he would stop smoking. I wish he would stop smoking. Thank you, dear students, with best wishes.